welcome back to my channel. In the last video I was discussing the tapered rollers, or should I say calcite yards found at Deir al-Bahrain. I wondered what they'd look like as a circular bank of rollers. Now modern day rollers are supported in a metal cage, like this one. And the van dash rollers are supported in a cage, but in this case made of wood. This type of bearing design dates back to the 18th century. Now I imagine a similar type of cage, one on top of another, just like the van das, but like a slice of cake. I made a mock-up of, of a multi-layered roller cage and what it would look like. I used some kebab skewers and wooden beads to be quite honest and what I imagined a type of cassette. Now I got my inspiration for this setup from the, for the Egyptian broad collar. Indeed I think the collar represents the bearing setup and many of these are made of tube shaped beads. Note the beads are strung in a specific way, in a way to depict a roller, a, a roller rotating from its central axis. Now, as the calcite rollers increase in size, so too the beads. The Van Dash roller bearings are made in segments for ease of manufacturing and for servicing. If a part becomes worn, a section can be withdrawn without dismantling the hole. The ancient Egyptians must have used a system where the roller pivoted at one end and used a ball and socket type arrangements at the other. Bearings are made of three parts uh, two thrust washers and the thrust bearing itself. It's in a, it's in a race or a cage. And the bearing sits on the rims. And then you put your weight on the top. So this can take very, very heavy vertical loads. So the problem is. How can I make this out of this and pivot on the end? So that's got a pivot like that. So in the opening of the mouth ceremony, they have um, a special set of cups or vases, as they say, but I think the tapered rollers. Now you've got one receptacle at the top, I've coloured it in black. Um, both are different colours, one's made of um, crystal and the other one's made of stone. Uh, I think that's just to indicate that there's two different materials. So we've got, I'll, I'll colour the in blue. Now you'll see there's a, there was a hole in the top. I think this pivot sat inside of there. So this is the way I'm looking, I, I can envisage it. So you've got your black, sorry. You've got your black pivot. There, which sits inside which sits inside the roller and then you've got your blue roller that sits inside that now these are the rims these things are the rims the rims, which is that, and your roller, obviously is the blue roller there. So the problem is, we know these wear out because we see them in, in foundation deposits. How, how do we get them, rollers, from in between the two rims? Well, make a hole in the top of the platform, so you've got a hole there, so that's now a hole, it'd probably be on this end as well. And you make a tool, a special tool, to fit through there. You take this pin out first, and then tap the the um, the roller out, out of out, off the rim. I think that's that. This black pivot is held in position with a dovetail. When viewed from this angle or head on, you would just see a black dot. I think the dovetail is made from green malachite. Now in Af Africa. Um, green malachite is called green-eyed malachite, and this is the link to Ezekiel's uh, prophecy in the in the Old Testament. Um, I'll go through it step by step. So, what have you been doing at the weekend? Cutting out my rollers, because if you don't do it, you won't know. <laughs> Let's have a closer look. <laughs> okay. Well, these rollers, they all increase in size by about three millimeters each one, and I wondered if I just made a, a plan of how I thought I thought they were in in lazy Susan type platform that I'm. I'm designing 
why is each one a different size? Because this one's 73 mil, and obviously the gap for, to get it out would be 75. And then these, these pins fit in there. And I realized that because these pins vary in size too, that this pin, once it starts to wear, it could go to this one now, because this is a smaller one. So they're recycling the pins from being up, from being up in, in, in a larger scale, using on the larger ones, because the pin has to be the same height. So when, when you take the pin out, when you take this pin out of here and tap out the roller, the roller's come, got to come in between this gap, the 75 millimeter gap and the 73 millimeter roller. Tell me about this again. Well, it's important to know that it's in equilibrium. See the way it bounces there? So it's, it's going back to its rest position all the time. If it was just balanced like a seesaw, and once it starts to go, if it's got like 50 ton on it, once it starts going, you, you're not going to be able to stop it. But when it's in equilibrium, it always wants to go back to its center spot. So you spin it round. See? So the only friction force is acting on where the shoe is here is right there, so, and this is a brass, brass plate, so you put a bit of oil in there, and it'll just, just moves. Simple as. Okay, okay I want to start talking about Ezekiel now, and why I think the, the prophet of Ezekiel is describing this machine. And um, the first thing that stood out to me, it, it, it says in here, that it turns, bef it, it did not turn when it went, specifically he says, um, and they went straight forward where the spirit would go. Um, they turned, not when they went. So what what he's trying to say is that it turned before they went. So it turns, and then it moves. It turns, and then it moves. That's what he's trying to say there. That's in that, in that bit there. He's got a bit here. He says, and their feet were straight feet, and the soles of the feet were like the soles of a calf's foot. Now a, ca a calf's foot is articulated. It's split into two. But particularly what he's saying is the soles, their their feet. Um, plural were straight feet I think he's talking about that they were flat feet and the soles of their feet were like the soles of a calf's foot singular so their two feet are like the soles of one calf's foot so that's what I'm saying about that and they sparkled with burnished brass so obviously put a brass inlay less resistance when it's on the turning speed um, and they had hands under the, their wings on their four, all four sides well obviously you'd have men working on these on all four sides and they went, everyone went straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they had faces of a man, and they four had the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left. So there's four sides to this machine, or four wings. So you would have um, um, uh, an eagle in the middle, um, uh, an ox and a lion on either side. That orientated, if there's a statue on here, yeah. if the statue's on here, and the guy who's standing on the top giving orders, say, right, push it to the right, and this has already gone round there once, and somebody says, push it to the right, you'd be going, you wouldn't know which is your right and your left orientation, but if he says, push it to the lion, or push it to the ox, or eagle for up, and let it down again, that's the orientation. Um, and it says, for the likeness of the living creatures, the appearance was like burning coals of fire. Well, the, the young guys um, in loincloths, and they clipped them clear in the ground. And it's probably getting dark at night, and they've got torches, and they're running back and forward. They're gonna be like flashes of lightning. So I'm trying to set the scene here. The living creatures ran and returned. So the living creatures are the men that are using this machine. Um, and it says, now I, I beheld the living creatures. Behold, one wheel upon the earth, and beside the living creatures, for each of its four faces thereof. The appearance of the, the wheels work was like unto the colour of beryl, which is green. Now, remember these, these pins are um, made of green-eyed malachite. So the, the green-eyed malachite would be all the way around here. And as it's working, you would just see a blur of green. So the work was like at the colour of beryl. And again, he says, they turn not when they went. He's the same things twice, really, all the time. He, like where he said the, um, the, the colour of beryl, he goes back down here. As, as for the rings, they were high and dreadful, and they had four, and they four had their rings full of eyes all round. So he's talking about the, um, the rockers here with the, 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 the pins that goes through as eyes. 
um, he talks about um, over the heads of the lid there was a likeness of a firmament, which is this, a, a firmament is a table or a platform. The book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 1. Now it came to pass in the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Kibar, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Kibar. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it, and out of the midst thereof as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, and every one had four faces, and every one had four wings. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. And they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides, and they four had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went every one straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces, and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. And they went every one straight forward. Whither the spirit was to go, they went, and they turned not when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a beryl. And they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. 